Hey guys, Brett in the world with CCM Magazine today, hanging out with three fourths of the Isaacs. How are you, ladies? <laughs> We're good. How are you doing? Good. So we just got a new album out there. Uh, this one, Praise and Worship, more than a hollow hallelujah, and lots of Isaacs albums over the years. But this one is a little bit different. So let's explain to folks what to expect. I feel like the title might give that answer away, but let's tell them uh, what to expect and, and kind of how this idea came about. Well, um, it is called The Isaacs Praise and Worship More Than a Hollow Hallelujah. And um, we found ourselves with a couple months off early in this year. And uh, we were scheduled to, to record a different kind of record, and that project got postponed till the spring. So we were home, and so we said, we've got this extra time. Let's go in the studio and record a record. And we've, we've sang at so many churches where they'll be like, we want you to lead worship this morning. And we're like... Oh, we have ice surrender all. Um, and so we found ourselves in a lot of positions where we needed um, some praise and worship songs. And so, and we love them. We love them so much. So we said, let's make a praise and worship record our style, which everything we do is kind of ends up being our style, of course. But, uh, but so we picked some of our favorite songs, um, Gratitude, Blessings, um, Mom did Alpha and Omega, Agnes Day, Medley, we put together, What a Beautiful Name, You Say, Oceans, Goodness of God, Reckless Love, Psalm 23, King of Glory and Forever, and then we wrote one song like the week that we were going in the studio. I'd started like 10 years ago, wow. and so, yeah, so we went in and did it. We did it in January and February mm -hmm. and worked on it for months and months and months. And, and then we recorded a DVD, too. Yes, and then we went in the studio, um, and not in the studio, um, then we went to Belmont University, mm -hmm. to the Fisher is it Fisher Center? Yeah, yeah. Is the name of it? Fisher Center. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous auditorium. And we we did all the songs live with a full band there. And and so, because the Gaithers released this record for us, and everything they do has video attached to it. So <laughs> we're like, well, we got to have a video. Someone put that back there. And that's a, a crowd that's still buying the DVDs. They still have a DVD player to, to play. And that. a CD player. <laughs> but you know, they've, they've wised up a lot. And now all of their videos, they're splicing them up and putting them on YouTube. They have like 4 million yeah. YouTube followers. And the good thing about that is when, you know, when the, the older generation, when they get on a YouTube channel that they like, they just let it play all day, all night. Yep. So that's constant rolling. And so they figured it out how to stay current. But so, yeah, you'll see a lot of these songs on YouTube, hopefully, and the Gaithers and yeah. our website and everything. Oftentimes with those Gaither videos, though, you got to buy the DVD because that the YouTube <laughs> videos aren't coming anytime soon. It's like yeah. one song every three months, so it'll take a few years to get all those out. So just go ahead and go buy the DVD. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> so some of these cover songs that are on this, how did you guys narrow down this list to these songs, and this is the ones we're going to do mandolin-style worship to? Hmm. Well, we met the four of us met, and uh, we all kind of popped out songs that we liked. You know, oh, I love this song, and I love this song, all the time. And we're, we're a democracy in our family. The four of us own the business, yeah. so we take a vote, you know. And so every song that was mentioned, one, or, one of us loved it, so we divided them up that way. But there were a lot of songs to pick from. And a lot of trial and error. We would, if, if one of us said, oh, I like this song, we would, we would try singing it down and see which one felt like it fit more of our style, you know, because there's so many great songs that really don't fit our genre, mandolin, guitar, <laughs> bass. Uh, but we did add, you know, piano and um, mm -hmm. electric guitar and drums, of course. And so it's, you know, it's a full, it sounds like a praise and worship record, but, but with the added um, more acoustic feel, mandolin, dobros on there on some songs and so um, it still sounds like us but but the songs are incredible and the harmonies those songs the thing is is a lot of those songs that were recorded yeah. um, were like soloists you know mm -hmm. and they don't don't have a lot of harmonies on them so it was really neat for us to go in and play around with adding harmony parts to songs that most people never heard harmonies sung on a, a praise and worship song before so it, it turned out really really good and um, we had several different engineers um, working with us one thing we're very excited about is Bill Cheney, who's a very famous uh, mixing engineer, mixed this album. And so that was a really thrill, um, thr a great thrill for us to be able to yeah. do that. So, Were there extras that were recorded that Ben has in a folder somewhere that if he gets bored someday, he can mix those and start spitting them out later on? Or every song that was recorded made this album. No. <laughs> the 12 on this record about killed us, so we don't have 13. No, it's a process. I mean, for the Isaacs record slowly because, um, you we're know. We're picky. <laughs> yeah, we re record slowly because we, you know, we all are uh, perfectionists in a way that, that we 
push each other into what we, the potential that we see in each other. And sometimes that comes with frustration. And so you have to just like take your time and, and mm-hmm. you know. <laughs> yeah. So many of the artists that did the original versions of these songs either live here in Nashville or they come here about once every three or four weeks. Have any of those artists got a hold of you yet and be like, wait a minute, I didn't know you were doing that song? Not yet. So have it's you? so new. It is so new. Yeah, it's brand so new. So we've not uh, really sent it to our artist friends yet, their versions. Um, we need to do that. We, we need, need to, to send that. Carrie. We know Carrie very well. Mm-hmm. Um, Cece, I did send her um, more than a hollow hallelujah. I didn't. I don't think I sent her goodness of God. I was scared to do that. But, <laughs> uh, but yeah, but several of them are starting to, to become aware that the album is out there. And we hope they feel honored because mm-hmm. a lot of those singers wrote their songs. And yeah. um you know, I, I feel like they'll be excited about it. I don't think they'll hate it by any <laughs> means, but, you know, hey. Yeah, they're going to want it to do good because they wrote it. They're going to want those royalties they to keep rolling in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, of course, uh, you know, you've got Dolly. You've got White Whitney. Every, I mean, everybody that cuts your song, it's, yeah. you know, it's going to hopefully do well. And it had a nice debut, too. You talk about CeCe there, the charts. It was you and CeCe kind of neck and neck there. Oh, what a the surprise first that was when we saw it. Good her. company. Very yeah. good company. And, um She's amazing, though. Everybody loves Cece, and yeah. we, we absolutely love her as a yeah. person, too. Yeah. So speaking of unique Isaac stuff, you guys have a pretty cool tour now that's a little different than past tours, a tribute to the Grand Old Opry. I mean, when you see this, the videos of this, it looks like you're in the Grand Old Opry house. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about this tour and, and how this idea came about to take it on the road. Yeah. Thank well, you. we've been blessed to, to um, take our music into all kinds of genres. Um, you know, we, we get to dabble in the Southern gospel a little bit, the bluegrass market, the country market, but uh, an open door uh, about five years ago was performing art centers. And so um, the, about the last five years, I would say 70% of our dates have been performing art centers, which we love because there's a built-in audience. And, you know, you're singing to probably 60% of people who would never come to a church to hear you music anyway. And um, then the other ones are open to ticket sales and things like that. And so we have circled those performing arts centers multiple times in the last four or five years. And so we had a meeting with a booking agent and they said, you know, they want to book you back, but they would love to have something different from the Isaacs. And so uh, we brainstormed at the table that day, actually, and we come up with two or three ideas. And one that stuck was a uh, tribute to the Grand Ole Opry because we're Opry members. We're one of the, uh, actually, up until Stephen Curtis Chapman's induction coming up, we are the only gospel group or family since the 80s that was inducted. And so we thought, you know, why not bring um, the Opry to people? Because what we wanted to do was honor our opera heroes, but also honor the music that brought us to the table. And that is our gospel flavored music. And so we do about an hour and 15 minutes of Opry classic hits from uh, you know, Dolly to Vince to Carrie Underwood to Porter Randy Wagner. Travis, Porter mm-hmm. Wagner, which Porter Wagner was the first person to have the Isaacs on the Grand Ole Opry. How many got 35 and years ago? It, yeah. I did the math. I believe it was 89 was the first time that we, we were on the Opry. And uh, so I am, you know, 49. I think we calculated I was around uh, 15, 16 when we played the Opry mm-hmm. for the first time. And so it was a long, long process of becoming a member, which we never thought would happen because right. we are a gospel group at heart. We get to do all kinds of other music, but it happened. And so we wanted to take that out to the performing arts centers and, and, and also the opera's coming up on their hundredth birthday. And the Opry really is encouraging Opry members to spread the love of the Grand Ole Opry. And that's, we, you know, we're a little bit ahead of the curve. We're on 99th (laughs) birthday. So we've got a a couple of years of, of spreading the Opry. We want to take the Opry everywhere we go, but this tour we would love to do for a couple of years and bring and, people. You know, we've, we've been pleasantly surprised. Everybody's enjoyed it. I mean, we, yeah. Yeah. it's been fun. It's I been mean, a it's a different it. kind yeah. of music than our fans are used to hearing. They're mm-hmm. not used to hearing me sing Coal Miner's Daughter. However, the way that it's honoring the the artist, it's hard to get offended, you know, mm-hmm. because, you know, you've got that thing where some secular artists don't, or uh, Christians don't like secular music. But um, I think that the way we flavor it is um, bringing honor to the, the people that paved the way for the gospel music to come. And so and we're loving it. we've very carefully selected the songs that we're doing. So they're all very, you know, safe, family life, yeah, love, love songs. Yeah, you know. relationship. Uh, yeah. So, Heartbreak. Uh, but we also asked a lot of the artists whose songs we're doing to record a video and send oh, in wow. for us. Um, and they're introducing their own song. Mm-hmm on the tour. And uh, so, you know, maybe we should do the uh, praise and worship tour 
and have some of the artists whose yeah. songs we did <laughs> send in videos, and then we'll just do a, a different tour and take it out. That would be yeah. cool to support yeah. the album. Yeah. So there's a lot going on at the same time. Yeah. So our heads are spinning been, yeah, a little yeah, bit. Really yeah. I mean, it's a lot to retain 20 Opry songs, let alone retain the 12 Praise and Worship with <laughs> yeah. all the moving parts and the harmonies and the play. We play the music as well. So something has got to go on autopilot, either the vocal or the music. <laughs> and so uh, it's, been, it's been a challenging, brain-stretching moment. And it's fun to watch the people that, that know the songs. I mean, they, they're singing along with them. And in the middle of our set, well, kind of maybe about three-fourths of the way in, we're doing, um, we're doing more than a hollow hallelujah, which is the title and probably the next single from the, this new Praise and Worship album. And, um, and it, we're taking it into a time of worship for about 15 minutes. And it's really, it's really neat to, to have that in because that's the way it is at the Opry. Yeah. We go to the Opry and we might sing, you know, rocks or we might sing, Lord, I hope this day is good. And then go into it as well with my soul. And, the, and it's just church in yeah. the Opry house. And so yeah. it's kind of a, it also represents the way we are at the Opry. We're just us. And I love it because the Opry opens its arms to artists like Stephen Curtis Chapman, yeah. to us, to comedians, to songwriters like Don Schlitz, who um, was made a member recently. And they really are all inclusive and, and they're just wonderful. And so we feel very proud of them. We're mm -hmm. proud of the Opry. We're not trying to be braggadocious. Um, you know, we just we just want to spread. There's a lot of people that won't be able to come to Nashville in their yeah. lifetime. And so we thought well, we'll just take Nashville to them. So that's what we're doing. Have some of the reactions out on this tour made you start wanting to do a tribute to the Opry album and where you take some of these songs you go into the studio? Request yes. Get, will you make yeah. a DVD of this? Yeah. Um, that, that comes with a lot of issues because, yeah. you know, the artists have approved their videos to be seen live but not recorded. So, I mean, there's a lot of, you know, We could still that, do an album, though. Yeah, we, in the all, yeah I think the album could easy. be possible. Absolutely. I mean, you guys even have like the Grand Old Opry mic flag stands. Are those authentic ones they let you borrow, or yeah. did you guys make your own? Actually, no, they're uh, heavy. They're they are authentic. Dan, uh, who is the uh, manager of the Grand Old Opry, he provided us with those, and I mean, they have been so great mm -hmm. about you know we get approval of things that we use that's Opry because it's their reputation mm -hmm. as well as ours, and so um, but you know we want to do it first class because we're proud of the Opry and they, the Opry does everything first class. But yeah, Dan provided those for us, and um, and the content, and the, the content, videos. the archives, which are archives for everybody mm -hmm. to see. But it's really neat to see how times have changed, and, and songs from the '40s and the '50s, and the artists that the songs yeah. like when we sang "I Saw the Light," you know, it stood the test of time for 50 years, and people just like oh, so they, they they love the song because it's been such a great song, and a lot did. of them, a lot of them don't even realize who was the original person that sang yeah. it, and they they brought it to the Opry, and that's how mm -hmm. it became famous. Wow. So everything that we've done about this show got approval from the administration of the Opry, everything. And uh, even Dan Rogers, who's the manager, general manager, he comes up at the end in a little video clip when we're done and thanks everyone for coming. And he said, come down and visit us at the Grand Ole Opry sometime. We'd love to have you. So it's, you know, it's all about them and being there. And I've, it's, been a lot, it's been a fun one, hasn't it? It is. So is there a huge video screen behind you guys yes. for this? Or are you traveling with this huge yes. video screen? Yes, we are. We, we, LED wall. we had to purchase an LED wall to wow. do this tour. Yeah. So we're having to pull our trailer. Yeah. And we have an extra musician. And we have a multimedia mm -hmm. person running, <laughs> the, running the multimedia and the... We the also have confidence monitor. <laughs> we have uh, posters like uh, like you would get at the Grand Ole Opry, but it says I Isaac's Opry tribute, and um, you know meet and greet line and a autograph line where they can get their. Opry tribute shirts and I mean hats. We have we yeah, it's, it's been it's a lot of fun. Yeah, right now, yeah. There's only like another month or so on on the calendar. Is there going to be more of these later? Or is this it for a while? We, we think spring and fall of next year we'll bring the tour back. At around. least spring for now. So yeah. hopefully. In between those dates, are we going to get some of these praise and worship kind of shows? I, you know what? I would love if we could hitch our wagon to to a, a CCM artist that likes the Isaacs and let us open for them because yeah. we could we could certainly. You know, sing twenty or thirty minutes at least of of the people's favorite songs, you know, and have them get them nice and warmed up for whichever artist would come on stage. That would be a dream because we love. There's so many artists in CCM that are good friends of ours and that have over the years been so supportive of our music and just they act like they're fans and. Um, so we need you to step up if you're <laughs> if you're an artist and you need an opening act. Uh, but no, it just it would be wonderful to be able to sing to that because. 
it's all about the song. In, in Christian contemporary music, it's all about the lyrics and the songs, and that's why there's just so many wonderful songwriters that are singers that have hits because the songs are, are just standing the test of time. Yeah. And we feel like the songs that we have chosen for this record are absolutely imperative for the day and time that we live in. People need to get real with God. And the song that we wrote, More Than a Hollow Hallelujah, it is such a timely song because, first of all, we need the Lord more than ever before. And we need to stop, we need to stop empty praise in Him. We need to go deeper and we need to really, I mean, how many times have we just sang the words and not really melt, meant them or felt them? And, and this song is about going out into the deep with the Lord. And it's, it's about being sincere. He deserves our highest praise, our highest praise. But yet, how often do we give Him that? Mm-hmm. How often do we give him that? And what results would we get if we would start doing that? And so that's just this song is saying, look, if you need the Lord to do something for you, he responds to praise. Yeah. Let's talk about the room we're in real quick, because people see this in the Isaac video sometimes. If they watch Jimmy's videos, they see it on a daily basis. Your husband, Jimmy, this is in your backyard. You have a church chapel in your backyard. Tell people how in the world a church just... I mean, you literally planted a church right in your backyard. <laughs> yes, um, and it, we in 2018, uh, Jimmy, my husband, he had this project. It used to be a horse barn, and we had like a corral, and we actually had a couple horses at one time, but they kicked a friend of ours right here, and we had little kids, <laughs> and we were just like, mm, this is not the time for that for us. So we got rid of the horses, and um, and and Jimmy had was out here one day, and he was going through some emotional stuff. He was going through a really hard time with some stuff spiritually. And he was out in the barn and he said, I wish I had a church that I could pray in. And God gave him the idea to turn the, the barn into a church. And so we had a friend come out and, and rebuild the the barns into this chapel. And it's like little chapel on the prairie in here. And it's all wood that we got from our property and from my dad's property in Kentucky. And uh, Joel Hemphill of the Hemp Hills gave us the, the bell that actually works out there. It sounds like Little House on the Prairie. Marty Stewart gave the stained Marty glass Stewart windows. Gave us some stained glass yeah. windows. And um, it was just it's a work of heart. And he wouldn't even let me come out here and see what he was building. He kept it a secret from me for months and months until I saw the steeple go up. And then I, I knew. I thought he was building like a, you know, like some kind of um, guest house or studio or something, you know, or maybe he just needed a place to get away from me. I don't know. But no, that wasn't it at all. And so we, this is a place he can get away from you. <laughs> and he needs to come to church when he's mad at me, for sure. This is a great idea. But uh, but we we use it for. Um, he does Yuri Chapel here. He does a, like a YouTube, Facebook show out here. And we've just recently felt um, a few months ago that God wanted the Isaacs, my family, the Yuris, the Bowmans, and the Isaacs to to start going live on Facebook and doing a chapel service from this chapel. And so we're calling it Family Chapel. We're trying to do it once a month. We're, we need to schedule one right away. But, um, but our families get together. Becky's husband's a preacher. Jimmy's actually called to preach. Becky's son, Levi, is called to preach. And between among all of us, you know, we have enough of... We have a full week revival, it sounds week. like. Yeah, we, yeah. So, <laughs> well, and it's been prophesied by many people that the Isaacs ministry would merge our families would merge because the Isaacs go on the road as, as you see us as siblings and a mother, but we have families at home that minister as well. And, uh, you know, our heart's desire is, is we're inclusive. Like we just are, are, we want everybody to be part. And, uh, with Jimmy's talent and my husband's talent being so, so great, but on their own, we just, wanted to see it come to pass, but we didn't know how. Little did we know that it would be something like this. But it's it's in this church, you get that feeling of, you know, 1800s. And we have green back, red back hymnals in the pews, and we open them up and we sing, you know, I Surrender All, or we sing the old songs. And it's just a very beautiful feeling of of just all the smoke and lights of of what seems to be happening in churches these days, which I'm not saying are bad. I'm just saying it's different. It's a different feeling. You're, you're pulling different strings <laughs> of the heart when you step back in time. And uh, so it's been really great. And we go live. And, you know, we, it's very... We're reaching the world. It's very unorganized. It's just <laughs> us. 
and unproduced too. You're gonna yeah. get the raw vocals, the raw instruments. It's it's a one mic setup and a phone and or a computer. Last time we were That's here, right. my John's phone wasn't working, and I was behind the camera singing and talking. I like, it. but it, the point <laughs> is, is it's not planned church. No. It's just a, it's it's for us to take our ministries to the world. When we do the Opry tribute show, our hearts are there. And we sing songs like it is well with my soul and gospel songs, but we don't have that chance to minister. And oftentimes, uh, vocal groups or ministry groups, they're, they're hired to sing, not to preach. And we're not, I'm not called to preach, really. My husband and Sonia's husband is and Levi, but our hearts are to plant that seed where they can uh, see it watered and grow and come into salvation. And this is an opportunity for the Isaacs to see that and the Bowmans and the Yearies come together and give the ministering side of what is really our true hearts. Yeah. And that's on our, the Isaacs Facebook page. If anybody wants mm-hmm. to, there's a few that we've done already on there and we'll plan another one mm-hmm. and we'll announce it, put some little ads up when we go live. And just, yeah. we just invite everybody to watch it and to participate. We do mm-hmm. communion and um, we have prayer and, mm-hmm. and we just ask people post your prayer requests on here. And mm-hmm. it's just like a little hour long, little house on the prairie service. So <laughs> it's really sweet. And we're really thankful. While you wait for that, uh, the Praise and Worship album is out there now. The DVD is out there, too. Uh, uh, probably a few of those songs are on YouTube, but you can buy the entire DVD at the Gaither site or theisaacs.com. Good hanging with you girls today. Thank you so much Thanks for, for having us. today. No problem.